lot of you have requested uh, a tutorial on how to use Canva, how to download the overlay, and how to plug it into Luma Booth, Snapic, or even TouchPicks. All right, so my client has emailed me their client's logo, which is right here. Uh, they want to include Armada Holiday Party 2022. I went and looked up their website. It's a pharmaceutical company, and it looks like this is their tagline or slogan, if you will, purposeful, precise, powerful. So I want to combine these colors into the um, design I'm going to be making. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring over the main logo, which is right here. I already downloaded the logo, so I'm going to upload here on Canva, and then I'm going to go to Upload File and then look for the download section here and as you guys can see it's right here right here this one's way more vivid let me see I'm gonna go ahead and use this one I like the fact that this one is transparent already so once I put it in here let me just make sure by making the background black that it is transparent here yeah it's transparent so that's gonna look super dope alright so I'll go back to the white and I'm gonna try to stick to these colors <clears throat> And what I'm going to be doing too is um, I'm going to add the slogan. I think they'll be really, really, really happy to see their slogan on here. So I'm going to grab this here, copy, and then I'm going to go back into Canva and go to text right here on the left side. Uh, hit this medium text right here and then just paste that in there. Okay, so now we're getting this layout right here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I can shrink this here. I can shrink this. And as I'm shrinking it, I should be able to try to get everything in one line. That's that's what I'm going to try to do. Let's see if I can do that here by doing this here. Now, I'm sure there might be a faster way of doing this, but um, I'm just showing you guys how I get down. So, yeah. So, actually, yeah, I'm able to do it. So, I'll put that right there. There's going to be a space there. Put that right there. There's going to be a space right there. And I'm going to go ahead and move this right over here. I don't really like the, um, the the text. So I'm going to go here, up here. And I'm going to switch it to, let's see, something. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Um, I kind of wanted to match the same text down here. So, ooh, that looks actually really nice. This looks really nice. So what I can do now is change the color to maybe let's say like a like a blue or maybe even um let's actually i want to try something kind of weird here uh this is good a good opportunity for us to always explore new ways to get creative so i'm going to make that that color like that um what if i choose red though what, what if i choose red all right choose red leave that there and then right down here what I can do is I can shrink this. Actually, do this much. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, by the way, down here I'm gonna go ahead and, and zoom in so that I can see my work a lot better without squinting too much. And I can do that, and then I can do that right there. And now I feel like I have more space to work with, so I can now bring this down here. Just like that. All right, and I can actually add a background to this. And uh, my background here, let's actually make this a little bit um, smaller just because I wanted it to. And you see this line that showed up? I'll show you guys this little line. That means that this, uh, these two sections here are aligned with one another. So, but I want to make sure to get the word in here and get this a little bigger. Yeah, right there. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and probably change the effect. I'm not really digging that. Actually, that alone looks much better. Uh, I can even make it a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let's make it bold. See how that would look. Nothing's really popping up here for that. So I'm going to move this right in here like that. Uh, probably shrink it a little bit here. Back to effects and see if I can give it more of a swag here. And then I'm gonna get it's purposeful, precise. Maybe, maybe I should try to 
put everything here aligned next to one another. Power, purposeful, precise, and powerful. So, and that. Right there. Maybe I can add a star in here. Uh, like a asterisk. Let's raise it up. Yeah. Let's see it in here. Or oh, you know what would be pretty cool? I didn't think of this as this. You can actually uh, turn this around like this. Let me see here. Now that is looking pretty dope already. Hey guys, it, you get you get faster with this. I know this is taking me a while, um, but you will get faster. I'm going to go ahead and enlarge it a little bit more. Um, just like that. Now I think that looks pretty dope. Right here, uh, they wanted me to also add, let's go back to the email here. The email says, I'm on a holiday party, 2022. Let's go ahead and plug that in. Paste. There we are. Now I can put this way up here, and that would look dope. Um, I really love leaving the top wide open, but I guess uh, in this case we can just add it as the effect here. And they wanted it red, so I can make it red like that, and then add a little uh, clouds on the top to make this pop a little bit more and actually this I can actually add the same effect just because it's going to be on the side now and that'll look pretty cool as well I'm going to go with the uh, same color I picked here red and then right here red now this is uh, Canva let's see this is Canva Sans and this is let's switch it to Canva Sans as well so um, it, it matches across the board like that that's pretty cool yeah, and actually I can move this right in the middle like this and then I can start maybe adding some um, Let's see holiday party. This looks cool already. I'm on a holiday party So this looks cool and what I can do here is I'm gonna start I love adding clouds to this effect here and if I can get um, Like a red cloud right check this out. I can get some like red clouding like this Let's see how this looks here. I just want to go to back. And, and this is basically just too red of a cloud. I might go with um, something like white smoke. Like a white cloud here. And then add white clouds too. And I'm going to add the background. I'm going to add black to the background so I can see... Uh, where my clouds are going to be at. Um, say for example, I put a cloud right there in the middle. Or oh, instead, I bring it down here. I actually would like to bring in some, some, some like blue smoke or stuff like that. That would really look. That look really dope. Um, let's grab a couple of clouds just to get and see how dense these are. So this one right here. And I'm gonna put the, put this one right here I think that looks dope and then I'm gonna grab this logo and I'm gonna go to position and move it all the way to the front so it'll be in front of the clouds now if you guys see I'm gonna move these clouds so that you guys can actually see the word pharmaceutical and the more I move the clouds next to one another the more you're able to see the Armada logo so that's uh, that's something that you guys want to really put out there because it's at the end it's it's their brand it's their it's their logo so i'm going to move this cloud to the back just like that and this i can probably shrink just to kind of keep it in the cloud here area just like that 
and then right here I'm probably move this cloud oh, not this cloud but this last cloud I'm gonna move this out of the way for a little bit and this all should be I noticed the precise word here it's not um here let me do this um, I know this is a long a video ladies and gentlemen and, and it's just basically you know a video that really breaks down this this uh, process and it's it's difficult to make a video uh, like this and try to make it extremely quick and really you know uh, go as fast as possible so uh, it, it really just takes a little bit of patience and really close observation uh, so you can really get the idea of what it entails um, so I'll put that right there uh, and then I think this cloud I should move it up a little bit oh there you go and maybe what I can also do to complement some of these letters right here, what I can do is I can go to like the orange, an orange cloud, right? And just just to get an idea, like I'm saying, guys, this is all about exploring uh, some of these cool tools. And like, oh snap! Look at that! Look at how it's coming along, guys. That is beautiful. I am liking it. Yeah. Let's see, I'll probably put that right there. So just a, a little splash of uh, orange there. This is too dark. Let's see. Let's see here. Yeah, so that's actually really simple. I'm going to try to leave it just like this. Because I think this looks great. Maybe I'll move this towards the middle more. Right in the middle. So see this line that popped up? That means it's right in the center. And I think this looks really cool. So I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. Um, so this is how it's going to look. And I think it looks beautiful. Now let's go ahead and present it to our customer. So I'm going to go ahead and change the background for now. So they can actually see the details that I am including. If I, move it, if I make it all white, this is how it's going to look. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom this in really quick close the door uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and see here right there so it's right in there okay so this is perfect this is good um, I could add some clouds here on the top to make this pop a little bit more but I'm happy with that way that looks right now in fact what I can do too is um, I can break this down into different pieces let me see so it allow me Oh, so for example, say I go here and I go to change the color to this blue right here. See, what I was trying to do is just try to change the text. Uh, one word being reddish, the other one blue, reddish, blue. But I think this should suffice. So let me go ahead and export it now. I'm going to export it and I'm going to go to download. I'm going to go to transparent background. Remember, guys, one of the most important parts of this video is the resize section. I am going to be using a 1080 by 1920. That's my favorite template to use. Um, that was the exact same size I used to use for Luma Booth and Touch Picks and now Snapic. I'm a big fan of Snapic right now. I'm going to make a video elaborating exactly why Snapic is definitely helping me grow my business and really make my brand stand out from the competition. So uh, I'm going to go to download right here and then transparent background. I'm going to hit download. Now this this uh, this step is really important because a lot of you guys are struggling in this little area. So let's go ahead and uh, show you guys exactly what I mean by that. Now I'm going to go ahead and download it again with white so I can send it to the client. Um, let me see how the background looks blue. Okay, so I'm actually sending. I'm gonna send it to them in blue, so they can see this here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and download that right there. All right, guys. So on your laptops, when you guys download this, just go over to your downloads right here, and here are your two overlays. When you click on your over on your overlay, if you guys come up here. Was we see a little arrow? Well, let me make sure you guys are able to see it. Just go to share. After you click on this arrow, go to share. I'm sorry, to AirDrop. And once you go to AirDrop, select your device. Now make sure your phone, your iPhone, is turned on so that you guys can accept overlays. Not overlays, but AirDrops from everyone. So there goes the first one. 
Okay, now I have that one on my phone. And then I'm going to select this one as well. And this one is going to be on my phone as well. I'm just going to hit select my phone and hit accept on my phone. And now I have both overlays on my phone. I'm going to be making another video, guys, on how to uh, attach those overlays onto either Luma Booth or uh, Snapic. I don't have touch picks anymore, and I don't want to pay a week's worth of touch picks just because I already um, have Snapic, and I'm going to go ahead and pay those extra $20 for Luma Booth just to give you guys this tutorial. Um, so, yeah. It was a pleasure serving you guys and sharing my workflow with you. I hope you guys loved it. Please hook it up with a thumbs up. Peace.